what's your relationship like with him? Well, first uh, he invited me, mm -hmm. so I was in Nairobi for the day, and I thought, why not? Mm -hmm. You know, I haven't heard comedy for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. It's been a dry spell actually since uh, COVID, mm -hmm. and I think it was just nice to know that there's a show coming up. And I thought, let me come and figure out what's exactly is going on, what's the show all about. And I've seen it's going to be a show that brings in other comedians on the show and also discuss issues and also give us something to laugh about. Mm -hmm. So for me, I feel that as National Government Affirmative Action Fund, we have not yet uh, done a program or a, a project where we're supporting uh, comedians. And we would like to do that uh, in this term. And uh, it would be nice to start engaging with them. So my entire team was here. And uh, we should be sitting down with them to see, can we have a competition? Uh, can we be able to identify the next big comedian in Nairobi and uh, put some cash money behind it? And let's just have a day of fun. There's a lot of mental health issues and I feel life is getting too serious and people are getting depressed because of taking life too serious. So we need to give them that laughter so that they can ease off and realize that, you know, um, if you can laugh, then you can pick it up. And we see that with a lot of people. When you lose a loved one, you, you go and then you start the process. After you've dealt with the grief, you start the process of uh, celebrating one's life. And you, you can go even where a, a woman has lost her husband or her children or her parents, and you find that even before they've laid him to rest, you can have a moment of laughter. So I think laughter is something that God has given us as human beings to be able to ease ourselves from the stresses of life. Mm -hmm. So I'm here to support him. I congratulate him on his show. It's been amazing. I've sat through for an hour as I nipped on to the airport and back. Now I'm heading off to Mombasa so I can do the work that you gave me as member of parliament. Mm -hmm. We have a lens committee meeting in Mombasa and I have to be there. Mm -hmm. So catching the midnight flight. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. And what do you think about the creative industry right now? Maybe what's your take on it? Uh, do you think uh, they're doing good, uh, uh, like creativity? Like what's happening right now? What do you think about it? During the Youth uh, International Day, I went to Kayole and quite a number of uh, uh, youth came out and did skits and poetry and um, uh, little plays and, um, and music and I think we, we have we have a long way to go we need to fix the social halls in Nairobi across the country so uh, the youth can have a place to come out and perform we also need to improve on theater and I feel Kenya's had the best of theaters now let's take the machinani and we've got to be willing to pay mm -hmm. you know we've got to be willing to pay I mean, uh, so that we can, you know, we can, it's, it's a job. You know, you can't just go there, watch and leave. You've got to be able to go, pay and enjoy so that the people that are pr producing this are actually able to earn an income. Mm -hmm. um, I feel social media is another platform that can bring you uh, income. We've, we've heard uh, comedians that say they have more than 2 million followers and they make people laugh. So I think that there are so many spaces, but I'd love to see more people come out into the uh, social halls and give us entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. Now talking about uh, supporting talent, we have Talanta Hela Initiative that is under CS Ababu Namamba. We also have some talents that you know I've spoken to them and they're saying they still do not understand. You know uh, the kind of help they're going to get under this initiative. I would like to know what are your thoughts about what CS Ababu Namamba has done um, as of yet and. Uh, what did you expect to see from that initiative towards the creators? Well, the thing is, we've realized that people need to earn an income. And, of course, when he's going to put talent and money together, right, you try and leverage it from the local, uh, locally in Kenya and then eventually abroad. Uh, I mean, it was interesting to see uh, the social in, uh, influencer uh, who was here, and she said she spends a lot of money creating her content, going to South Africa, uh, because she knows what it will pay her. So I feel that uh, uh, Ababu should uh, do a lot of civic education online, uh, let Kenyans know what it's all about, because we hear about things, but we don't know how to go and get interacted with them. So we, uh, once we get the brief as uh, members of parliament, then we will also promote it, because you know we work on two different levels, the executive and uh, uh, the members of parliament. But uh, I think it's a good initiative. Anything that puts money and compensates people for talent is worthy of celebration. So I believe that he's on the right track. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I've got to go now. Okay, okay thank you. <laughs>